So in this demo, we're going to go over how to clone a project, which is pulling a project down from GitHub, uh, how to push changes back up to a remote project, and then how to update uh, your project if you had changes that someone else may have pushed. So as you see, I'm here on my GitHub page, and I created a uh, template project called Hello Git. And one of the things you'll know is that, uh, notice is that when you log in and it's your project, you get access to a read and write uh, URL. If you're coming to a project and you're not part of that project, you will only have a read only. Therefore, you can't push changes back, but you can still pull changes down from the repository. Uh, we're going to assume that you either have uh, forked the project from someone else, therefore you own it and you can read and write to it, or you've just created one from scratch. And we're going to copy this URL and we're going to use a command called git clone and we're going to paste in this URL. So clone is a way of uh, pulling out a repository and putting it in, in your local uh, computer. So when I hit return, it's going to tell me that it's initialized it and it's set it up. And if I actually do an ls, you'll see that there's a hello git set up. Now let's switch over to FTT. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project here. And we're going to call it hello git, which is the same name as the project that was just checked out. And from here, we're going to hit finish. And what's going to happen is because we already had a project checked out with the same name in the workspace, uh, FTT is just going to basically import this project. So before we get started, though, I want to do one other thing. And this is, we're going to go back to our git clone. And now another interesting thing you can do with clone is that if at the end you add a space and you give it a name, temp project, What's going to happen is that it's going to check that project out. And as you see, it, if you don't supply that name, it gives you the default hello git. If you supply the name, you can actually create the name of the folder for the checkout. And we're going to use this example to show you how to update in just a minute. So let me go back to FTT and I'm going to open up my class. And I'm going to trace, does this work? So here we're going to save it. And we're going to test to see if we have a change. So let's see where we are. We're going to cd into hello git. And we're going to do a git status. So you see that we've modified this class. So now we can do a git add, git commit, uh, change test. And now we're committed. So one thing to note is that when you commit this file, you're only committing it locally you're actually not committing it back to GitHub or to wherever your repository is. In order to do that, you need to use a command called push. So generally when you do push, you need to tell it where you want to push it to. So you don't, normally we refer to this as the origin and then you tell it the branch. So every branch, uh, every new project that gets started, the main branch is called master and origin is where it came from. So in this case, when we cloned it from GitHub, our origin is GitHub. So now that we do uh, this push, you'll see that it's actually taken our changes locally and it has pushed it over to uh, GitHub. Uh, and we can verify this by going to GitHub, refreshing the page, and we should see here's our change test uh, commit. Now what we want to do is we want to figure out, let's say someone else is working on the same project as you and they've made changes and they're telling you, hey, you need to get the changes. You need to pull them down from us. So you can do that by seeding into temp project. And now temp project, remember, is the clone of the same project. I just gave it a different name. Uh, the command in order to actually pull changes down, in this case, pulling them down from GitHub, is git pull. And now you'll see it's pulled down those uh, changes and it's told us what's been modified. And now both of our repos are in sync with each other. So those are the three main commands. Hope that was helpful.